So one of the questions I always get asked um, at the start of a culture transformation project is what is the ROI for culture? And that's a great question because oftentimes culture is seen as intangible. It's seen as nebulous, right? And so today I just want to talk about a few things uh, in terms of what a strong culture delivers for you. Number one, a strong culture increases employee engagement. In a, in a Gallup poll a couple of years ago, uh, they found that 85% of the people working for companies around the world are disengaged at work. 85%. And what that means is that the people who are there are really not there you know, with their heart and soul. They're just there to collect a paycheck at the end of the month and they're not really contributing much to it. They don't find their work meaningful. And that's a huge problem in terms of productivity, in terms of motivation and all those things, right? So that's one of the things. If you have a strong culture, that really sort of empowers engagement, right? It drives up engagement for your people. Number two, it creates passionate employees. People who work there with passion because they're there for a bigger reason. They're there for the greater good of what your company offers, right? A strong culture means that you have a powerful DNA in your company that creates that alignment and passion. And it really feels that passion in your employees who feel like they want to contribute towards something bigger, right, in your company. And number three, it attracts the right talent for you. And by right talent, I mean people who are aligned with what you believe in, right? Today, one of the problems we have is, you, you know, companies just hiring people to fill positions. They're not hiring for culture fit. And when you have a powerful belief system, uh, where you have your values that, are, that, that, that really sort of exemplify who you are as a company, and employees then aligned with those values, that's when that magic, sort of really magic alignment happens in your company. And that's what creates the atmosphere with, with the right people there who are aligned around your strategic vision, and that really propels your company forward, right? Number four, it fuels creativity and innovation. And you hear this a lot around in terms of, you know, hey, we want to be innovative, our company wants to be innovative, we want, we want to be creative. But really, it starts up here in the mind. So a strong culture creates the right mindset that fuels creativity and innovation in your company. Because overnight, you can't make your company sort of go innovative, right? We can flip a switch. It needs to be ingrained in the people, in the mindset, in the way they, what they think and how they think and believe. Are they empowered to fail, right? Uh, are they empowered to challenge the status quo? And that comes really from your culture and the mindset that you create. Number five, it reduces your attrition rate. A strong culture keeps your people in your company, right? Because they love the work, they're growing, they, they feel passionately connected to the greater good of your company and the culture. And let's look at some of these companies that have great cultures today, right? The, the LinkedIn's, the Facebook's, the Google's of this world, and the Disney's, uh, you know, and even DBS Bank and, and, and HubSpot. They just have a very high uh, sort of retention rate and be because people feel great. They feel that they're part of something bigger, they're growing, they feel fulfilled, right? I, and, and I think they're becoming the best versions of themselves. And that's what a great culture does, right? It helps uh, sort of keep your people. Um, and, and, and most importantly, a strong culture drives your bottom line. And I like to quote Jim Collins here from his book, Good to Great. And he says, the secret sauce behind every successful company today is a strong company culture. So yes, you can measure each one of these things and a strong culture ultimately drives your bottom line. If you've got all these different factors sort of falling in place and aligned, the impact on your bottom line is massive, right? Every successful company today has a strong company culture at its core. And the last one, a strong culture, a good culture, a winning company culture, improves your Glassdoor ratings. And why is that important? Because Glassdoor today is the first stop every employee will go to before they join your company to get a sense of what it's like working in your company, right? Glassdoor is a trip advisor for the, for the hospitality in the industry today. Every company will be eventually listed on Glassdoor. So you need to check on how you're doing and, and having a high Glassdoor rating means you're attracting great talent to you. It means you're doing well from a culture standpoint. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button and also hitting that notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video out. I put a lot of content on brand strategy, on company culture and customer experience. So make sure that you get those videos when they come out first.